To cut triangle B, we'll be using the small diamond shape piece from Marty's template set. Again, we'll be cutting from the width of fabric and we'll be using our template to determine the strip width. I've got my star fabric, the orange, on the background and my contrasting fabric is the scrap that is left from the triangle pieces that we've already cut. We'll need to make a total of 36 of the triangles of the star fabric. Once you've cut that strip, turn it on the side with the selvage at your left. And we'll be using the small diamond number 53 from set H. We'll begin our cuts by placing the diamond along the left hand side of the fabric. This side off to my left will be waist. Place your rotary cutter in position, bring it back, and then forward. Again, this piece will be waist. Then we'll turn the diamond over so we have the solid line to use as our guide. And we'll make our cut. We'll need to cut a total of 36 of the star fabric triangles and 6 of the contrasting fabric triangles. Continue to cut all your triangles and then at the end we'll stack them up together to notch off those engineered corners. Once you have all of your small triangle pieces together, it's time to go ahead and notch off those engineered corners. I've gone ahead and I've stacked my pieces together and I actually stack 6 pieces at one time. You're going to take your small instrument, your small number 53, and you're just going to turn it so that you can get each one of those corners and engineer those corners. You'll continue to do that until you've engineered the corners for all of your pieces. You will need two strips of triangle B from the star fabric. So you will need to cut a second strip using your number 53 template, the diamond shape, the small one, from your star fabric. Pay particular attention to page 14 of Marty's pattern. Only one side of your triangle is going to be on the straight of grain. So when you stack them, make sure that you stack them so that all of those have the straight of grain going on the same side. And then make sure that you pay attention to that when you are piecing. You can use the magic method and magically hope that you can remember. Or I'm going to put a pin in the side that is my straight grain of fabric so that when I set these stacks aside, I'll remember that this bottom side is the straight grain. To cut the small diamond C, you're going to need 36 pieces. So we will need to double our fabric. That way we can cut two strips at one time. Use your rotary cutter and ruler to square up the edge and then you're ready to use your template to cut. We'll be using our small template 53 from set H. Make sure that you measure in several points before you make your strip cut. and cut both strips at the same time. While you're cutting the strips for small diamond C, go ahead and cut two more strips and set those aside. We'll be using those later for the quadrilaterals. If you're right-handed, you'll be cutting your strips from the left-hand side, and if you're left-handed, you'll be cutting your strips from the right-hand side. 
I am right-handed, so I'll demonstrate the right-hand method. You will take your strips. Begin by squaring off an edge to take away the selvage on the left-hand side. Place your diamond on the strips and cut off that selvage edge. Once you've done that, you'll just be resetting your diamond and making cut after cut. I'm cutting through four thicknesses of fabric at a time, so I need to make nine cuts. You can see how quickly that goes. Once you've made all your cuts, you'll go ahead and you'll take your diamonds, and your template, and you'll notch off those engineered corners. Make 36 pieces total. Go ahead and notch off those engineered corners. First stack your pieces into piles, making sure that you watch that you've got all your edges even. And then notch off those engineered corners. Take your mat, turn it around notch off the other side. Stack up all your pieces and set them aside for later use. The last piece that we'll need to make the block is a piece called a quadrilateral. You might want to call it a trapezoid or you might want to call it funny shaped piece. But you're going to need one more strip of your background fabric that's equal to the width of the small diamond, similar to what we just recently cut for the diamond C. Once you've cut that strip, you'll again turn it to your left if you're right-handed or turn it to your right if you're left-handed. And now we'll be using the 60 degree equilateral ruler. You'll take the four and a half inch line and lay it along that bottom edge. Notice that I needed to move it over just a little bit to account for this selvage on that left-hand side. You'll make that cut. Turn the triangle over. Again, put your four and a half inch side, four and a half inch line on the bottom edge there. and you'll continue cutting until you have 12 pieces. Once you've cut all 12 of your quadrilaterals, go ahead and stack them in sets of four and use your 60 degree equilateral triangle ruler to notch off those edges. Now you're ready to make two blocks for the table runner. You should have 12 pieces of triangle A from the from the star fabric. You should have 18 pieces of triangle B from the star fabric. Remember this is where I have the pin to mark my my straight of grain. You should have one, uh, two pieces of triangle A from the contrasting fabric and you should have six pieces of triangle B from the contrasting fabric. From your background fabric you should have 36 diamond C's and 16 quadrilateral D's. Starting with page 21 in Marty's pattern, you'll use the cutting instructions to cut the rest of your background fabric for your table runner. Okay, to complete the tabletop runner, turn to page 21 of Marty's pattern. You're going to need to start out with two pieces that are 13 and a half inches wide by 24 inches long. 
Make sure that the pieces that you have cut are perfectly square on all corners. Using your equilateral triangle, place it in the right hand corner of your rectangle piece of fabric on the seven and a half inch line of that triangle. Move your rotary ruler so that it meets up with that edge of your equilateral triangle. Remove the triangle and make a cut. Rotate your fabric around and do the same thing on the other end. Again, the seven and a half inch line and make a cut. Stack the four pieces that were cut away on top of each other and using that seven and a half inch mark make four 60 degree equilateral triangle pieces you will need to notch those engineer corners from your stack of four.